Hey y'all, it's me, Barb Hardly, and if you can't tell from my accent, I'm from Tennessee, and I am stressed. That's why I want to tell all of y'all about This Is The Army, the World War II Army show put on by Irving Berlin that featured what? A whole lot of soldiers doing drag. Gay, straight, all of them in gowns and heels, dancing and prancing for Uncle Sam across the world, going to the front lines doing drag. Huh! What I'm going to present to you now is a little bitty reading from part of the biography I've been writing of Hayden Rourke, who you might recognize as Dr. Bellows from I Dream of Genie. But before that, him and his partner, Justice Addis, were in This is the Army. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I hope that you learned something. Then there was choreographer Robert Sidney, another Brooklyn-born performer. Sidney knew he wanted to be a dancer from a young age, traced all the way back to the first time he saw a professional cartwheel across the stage. He enrolled at New York University to nominally study political science. In reality, he just wanted to be closer to Broadway. He made his Broadway debut as part of the original cast of On Your Toes in April 1936. Six years later, Sidney found himself stationed at Upton and in charge with staging nearly every routine for This Is The Army. Sidney was 32, in charge, and g-g-g-gay. He routinely flirted with other soldiers, loved double entendres, and deliberately referred to every commanding officer with fibbited pronouns, as in, what's her problem, and what does she want? I love him. A show as large as this, the army needed more than just one choreographer, and Edgar Eddie Nelson Barcliffe picked up whatever slack Sidney left. Barcliffe was a professional dancer, and despite being eight years Sidney's junior, Barcliffe had already been in the army for almost a year and a half by the time rehearsals got underway. The 24-year-old's cushy role in This is the Army as a dancer and as a choreographer may have come about due to Berlin's unlikely friendship with fellow hitmaker Cole Porter. Barcliffe was Cole Porter's lover. The two most likely met in Broadway circles as Barcliffe found steady work as a dancer in the years leading up to the war. By the time Barcliffe was called to West Point in February 1941, the two were hot and heavy enough to warrant regular contact via phone calls and telegrams. Their amorous pen pal dynamic continued when Barcliffe reported to Fort J and later Camp Upton with Porter running hot and cold just like any closeted gay man trying to reconcile their shame with their desire for companionship. For example, in a letter to Barcliffe from Porter, dated March 20th, 1942, Barcliffe learns that his lover is having his home renovated. Soon there'll be room just for Porter's soldier boyfriend, but Porter calls this room the nasty guest room. Porter then jealously assumes that Barcliffe is going to all sorts of gay bars on Governor's Island. But he signs off uh, by affectionately calling Barcliffe his puss and wishing him sweet dreams. Cole Porter was a lot. Thank you so much for wanting to learn about This Is The Army. If you want to learn more, go to HaydenRourke.com or follow my boy account at Brett White. Make sure you're registered to vote, and why not donate to aclu.org slash drag defense. As This Is The Army teaches us, drag is essential to fighting fascism, so let's just go on and do that again. And as I always say, am I a woman? Hardly.